Hi guys, I hope you're well. I'm back. It's Tommy. I just wanted to see you guys, um, see how you guys are doing and just to give you an update on what's been going on pretty much so that you guys are aware this time. Um, I, I just feel like my life hasn't been, I don't know, my life just keeps changing. It's like constantly changing. My 20s are about my emotions just being all over the place and me making like completely irrational decisions but um irrational that i feel like i am satisfied with so um but yeah and and i just decided that you know i'm i just need i need a holiday i haven't had a holiday since god knows and i decided to treat myself to a ticket to new york so i yeah i'm like i'm just gonna go to new york i want a different culture i want to smell a different energy a different vibe um like the, just this environment isn't for me right now because i sometimes i just feel i feel i feel like my brain's frying or i'm just lost for inspiration and everything and i just realized that you don't have to have that all the time you don't have to have that that spark all the time but i'm not i i also like left work so quit work so um, again, I'm just happy that I'm free. I feel like I can finally breathe and just come back to myself and try and make content for you guys. Again, I've been kind of just thinking about the whole YouTube thing and there's so much content out there. It's ridiculous the amount of like millions of content being published every day. Sometimes it's almost like, oh, am I going to be lost in this whole YouTube pool? I'm not really trying to cater to the whole world. I feel like sometimes the content I do put out is quite niche um, and I've also I've always been a niche focused person in the sense that my niche isn't necessarily like commercial and every time I try to do something that is commercial then I stop liking it I don't I don't know I don't know but um, that's how I feel so again I'm trying to sort of step back and just have a look at my content and what it is I'm putting out there and if it really benefits you guys or if it's something of value and perhaps does it if, if it's something of value to me as well um so it's just been a lot of thinking and just working on uh, on my creativity and seeing how I can like pursue that without without having to I suppose again when I graduated I kind of put out a video saying you know talking about the corporate world and me just being able to i have no regrets about working in the corporate world no regrets whatsoever because being in that world i've learned how to work with people being in that world i've learned how to the level of work and, and an amazing work ethic i have no regrets and would i still go back if there's opportunity yeah but in terms of if i if i feel like i'm getting older and i haven't fully I haven't fully committed to my creativity then I don't know to what extent that can take me and I don't I don't know how far far or fast my creativity can go and I can only find out by taking risks now and I think it's just perfect timing because I'm not committed to anyone or to anything if you get what I mean but I've just been yeah so that's what's been going on in, in my mind lately and uh, you know I've just been seeing quite a lot of things and social media people just having a lot of mental illness and you know it's it's a lot it's a lot because sometimes you just feel like you don't fit in or like why am I having the thoughts that I'm having or why am I going through what I'm going through and it's okay to feel that way but you don't have to claim you don't have to claim it you don't have to take it on as a burden like you could talk about it in a safe space in the community um, because I've just been seeing a lot of friends just talk about mental illness and depression and I'm just wondering what the problem is what what might be the problem like I know I've gone through periods of extreme sadness and I'm, there's so much I'm going through in my life but they're just things and I just have to remember that I'm still alive and there's so much and even if I don't like the, what I desire isn't here in the present moment but I'm okay now I can still do it's like cultivating a mindset that even if what you desire isn't here but there's nothing wrong with this current moment right so um 
So yeah, if, if anyone out there is going through like one of these sort of moments, like reach out, talk about it in the comments. It just feels very common right now. And uh, it's coming in family, it's coming in friends and you just don't know how to deal with it. But I, I think the biggest thing would be, I think the biggest thing, it's not that people, why people go for these periods of sadness on their own because because they feel like they can't talk to others because others might judge them or others might say why are you feeling that way and I think society just needs to we just need to get to a point where everyone's feelings are valid and uh, just helping people sort of see a different um, you can't say you can't save the world so to speak but you can introduce them to new perspectives and uh, and yeah, and I think perspective is everything and I feel like um, experience is also everything. So if you open your if you open yourself to different experiences, then you change your mindset about a certain habit. But um yeah, I just wanted to give you give an update on that. Again, I'm trying to adapt to my new environment because I've moved back home and I don't know I'm not quite sure. I'm still in the mindset of uh, do I still want to work because I'm extremely employ employable right now, but I really want to see how far I can go with my creativity. So um um, obviously I've got loads of fears and things like that just lingering in the background but it's time to sort of pursue things with faith and full force so let me let me um, let me know your thoughts and uh, let's open a discussion so uh, yeah I will catch you in my next update and take care guys